Hi. Well, it's been a little while since I've uh, recorded a video, so I thought I'd record one. Now, I think I'll just keep this one pretty light. I'm going to record it on uh, music. Um, last night, I I was on YouTube, and I I just spent about an hour listening to, to music, uh, which is something I haven't really done for a long time. You know, music has always been a huge, uh, huge, huge part of my life. Um, you know, there's a, a few things I, I like about music. Uh, one thing that I like is, you know, uh, music has a way to just, you know, hit the heart, eh? You know, it, it doesn't go through the head type of thing, so it just goes straight to that feeling, uh, part of me. And, you know, like, uh, I've got a few friends who say that, you know, the longest uh, journey you'll ever take is, is about 18 inches long, and it goes from your head, uh, down to your heart. And I think, like, ideally, you want to have, you know, like, both of these on at the at the same time, you know, you don't want to just be in your head, or you just don't want to be in your heart, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, and I think that's kind of what music can do. I think music can really go and just you know hit both of those at the same time. You know, sometimes it hits the heart a little bit more. Well, sometimes it might hit the, the head a little bit more. But I guess what I like about music is I I love the feeling uh, behind it. Um. Yeah, some of my favorite bands are, well, my favorite band is Nine Inch Nails. Uh, my second favorite band would, would be, uh, Led Zeppelin. And, you know, there's just tons of different bands I like. I like a little bit of, of everything. I've noticed that, you know, like, uh, songs can really bring me back to periods of time in my life. But the one thing I do have to caution about music is sometimes that, you know, if I'm depressed, uh, I think listening to certain music, uh, you know, it can almost keep me trapped in that depression. Like sometimes, you know, I, I can remember like when I was really sad or something and, and, you know, just playing one song over and over again. You know, it was hitting the feelings, hitting them hard, but just, you know, like straight to that depression. And, and you know, in that case, I, I can't really help but think that, you know, maybe it was just keeping me stuck there and that wasn't really the best thing uh, for me. You know, uh, one song I remember like that, uh, you know, very powerful song is uh, by Don McLean, and it's called Vincent. And, you know, when I was in uh, college there, you know, especially my first year, I went into a really deep depression for a bit. And, um, yeah, towards the end of that first semester, sometimes I was getting home and sleeping from like 6 o'clock at night till 10 or noon uh, the next day. And, you know, like some nights I just sit there and listen to music and I listen to this depressing music all the time and I don't really think that helped me out too much. Uh I like a lot of angry music too. I really like, you know, stuff like Tool. I like the older nine inch nails. I like the older Metallica and I think that's because, you know, it it uh it hits that angry side of me, which is a, a side I think I push down a bit too much and, you know, I don't embrace enough. And I think sometimes that's why I enjoy that music so much is because it just goes <clears throat> you know, just straight there and accesses the anger and, and, you know, for a lot of time, a lot of years, I always denied my anger, thought I wasn't really an angry person. And no, I wasn't outwardly angrily, but internally, yeah, very angry. And, and, you know, still, I uh, still am to, to some extent, you know, but, uh, today I'm trying not to fear that anger so much and, and seeing that it can have a purpose. You know, it, it can help me to, it can help me to, you know, know when people are mistreating me. You know, know, let me know when I need to put a boundary into place. Um, you know, like saying boundaries is something that's really difficult. Um, especially if I set them with unhealthy people, because like unhealthy people probably aren't going to respect them. You know, boundaries are easy to set with healthier people. You know, like they'll, okay, yeah, they'll respect them. But if you try to set a boundary with an unhealthy person, they're not going to respect it, Matt. You know, um, I had an ex-girlfriend and, you know, like, I tried setting boundaries with her, you know, uh, telling her things that she did that didn't brief, but it never changed, hey? And, you know, right then and there, that should have been a sign that she wasn't respecting me. Uh, but, you know, I, I just kept with it. So, so yeah, so, you know, boundaries, if you set a boundary and people aren't respecting them, I think that's usually a pretty good sign that, you know, this person's probably not worth having in your life. Wow, I really got off topic here. Uh, but music, maybe I'll just talk about a few songs, but like Nine Inch Nails, 
Um, when I was younger, I always really liked the song Hurt. Um, you know, kind of a depressing type of song, like, a, I will make you hurt. Um, no, I can't even, the words aren't really even coming to me right now, but very powerful, very powerful. You know, Johnny Cash redid this, and I don't know, it's kind of pissed me off. Like, it's a Reznor song, you know. Everybody says, oh, Johnny Cash, you did it with so much emotion. And No, I, I think Trek Reznor did it with way more emotion. And, you know, I used to listen to that song a lot, and, and you know, but I don't really think I was honest with it. You know, I used to. I don't really think I hurt a lot of people. Um, I hurt myself a lot. Probably hurt myself more than I did other people. So, you know, that's the other thing with music sometimes. You know, we can, I can listen to it and build this like false image of myself that isn't true or, you know, maybe some sort of image that I want to believe. And I think that's kind of what happened in the case of hurt. Um, I don't think I hurt a whole lot of people, but now I'm like my favorite song by Nine Inch Nails is right where it belongs and it's such a powerful song like you know i think trent was definitely on a different level or something when he wrote when he wrote that song and um you know it's it's interesting because at different points in my life i think music means different things and it kind of depends where i'm at you know like when i was using a lot of drugs and drinking i thought all songs were about drinking and, using and stuff and then when i stopped using and drinking i thought oh yeah all these songs these same songs are all about recovery and stuff and now you know i listen to a lot of these songs and then you you know, something totally different, and I don't hear either of those messages uh, in them at all. So, you know, a lot of that depends exactly where I'm at, and, and what the music means to me will change as I change as a man and, and as a person. You know, one of the songs I was listening to last night was Fake Plastic Trees by Radiohead, and wow, powerful song, man, you know. Power, powerful song. I can't even think uh, what the main verse from it right now, you know. It wears me out. If I could be who you want to, if I could be who you want to, all the time, all the time. It wears me out. It wears me out. It wears me out. It wears me out. No, I'm not a very good singer, I don't think, but I'm kind of fun anyway. But the song has so much power because, like, it's been the, the story of my life for so long, you know, just worn out. Always trying to be somebody else, you know, just be what you wanted to be. And then that whole process, I lost me a lot of time. You know, many years I didn't know who I was at all. And yeah, it got really tiring. Really, really tiring, man. So I think, you know, that's why that song for me is so, uh, so powerful, you know. Another song I just love it to death, it, but, you know, it's got like no music. It's, you know, you hear it from the Platoon soundtrack and that's Barber's Adagio of String. So just listen to it. Probably the most powerful piece of music ever written like i don't know sam sammy was on a different plane when he he wrote that it's sad it's beautiful powerful you know just uh listen to it man and, you know i find a lot of sad music to be very beautiful very powerful um i probably tend to prefer a lot of sad music actually but um yeah it, it is um so, you know, that's a wicked song. Um, another song I've always really liked that grew up in the 90s, so I like a lot of 90s stuff. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll just end talking maybe about this song here, but check out XYU by the Smashing Pumpkins. Like, Billy Corgan and this song, man, like, you listen to this song and you just want to, like, rip shit apart, man, and, like, you know, just take your room and, like, trash it and chuck things and everything. Like, people thought Kurt Cobain had an angry energy. Like, no, nah, man, it was nothing compared to this song. Like, some of the songs on that album, like Smashing Pumpkins, uh, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, like, I believe Corgan, man, he just sounded like a deranged young man who was just angry at the world, and it's absolutely awesome. But yeah, one of the best songs ever. Like, check out XYU. Seriously, it's awesome. It'll get your heart pumping and, you know, get you to access that anger and see that, you know, it, 
it can be kind of a good feeling though at the same time it can be kind of a good feeling and use that energy man and i can you can channel it um you know to help you move forward and do things like if you look back on your own life you probably see that you know anger was part of the thing that got you out of you know certain periods of your life that you didn't want to be in and probably helped you out along the way it's all in what you do with it man it's all in what you do with it and you know, if you don't channel it properly, yeah, it'll be extremely destructive. But if channeled properly, you know, anger can be awesome. It really can. It can, you know, get get things done. It can get us to move on to life and where we want to go. You know, anger was what helped me find my career. I got pissed off working at this job for a while and thought, you know, yeah, I'm capable of something better and got, you know, angry at bosses and, you know, just tired of working all these crap jobs. And that's Part of what motivated me to go back to school and study something about. So, yeah, XYU, Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins. Awesome song. Awesome song. So, yeah, I'll probably make some more songs, uh, you know, more videos on, on music because it's such a huge part of my life. And I really want to reply to this one video that another I, uh, INFP on here, Ryan FP did on, I think it was on masculinity or femininity and stuff like that. And, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think that one I'd have to reply to in a few parts. And, you know, like sometimes I don't always like replying to, you know, or going back to some of these dark things. Like, because I don't know how good it does me all the time. I think I'm more at that phase now where I need to be just moving on a bit and, and leaving some of that stuff, you know, behind. I felt it. I know it's, it's there and it's time to not dwell on it and just move on. But awesome video, Ryan. Really, it is. And uh, yeah, I really think I'll have to respond to it and share some of my uh, my experience on that, anyways. But yeah, peace, guys. Take it easy.